what is going on guys my name is rohin welcome back to the channel today we are going to be showcasing you battlefield 2042 with everything maxed out and dlss enabled only ray trace ambient occlusion will be off as you can see everything else is maxed out except for chromatic aberration i'm not a fan of that one let me just turn the on screen display back on as you can see we're playing on a 5900x and ryzen Ryzen NVIDIA RTX 3080 Ti and also we are using 16 GB of RAM now this game is very hungry for RAM it uses about 14 GB of RAM on average so if you're still rocking 8 GB of RAM in 2021 that is not gonna happen with this game unfortunately I have got a resizable bar enabled in the BIOS Ooh, hourglass okay um i have set the pbo i did use the pbo and enabled as it is on its own i did have curve optimizer enabled for a very long time and i had these custom settings set on there and on average the frequency would reach like 4.8 on average sometimes 4.9 or even 4.725 or 75 but to be honest it's not worth it the curve optimizer does nothing for the performance in games and nothing whatsoever so what i am going to be investigating is tuning my ram instead because with ryzen that's where the performance is at to be honest um so yeah pbo has just been enabled on its own again uh for those of you who are looking to build a new system just he invest heavily into either a water loop if you've got the money or a water cooler like the corsair 110i or something along those lines um th that's that's where the major gains are going to come from is cooling your cpu because these do the run Dora quite hot in to and in terms of battlefield well, 2 2042 what i think of it so far i hate these intros i absolutely hate them system. this waste so of time um and then i hate the intros as well when Other you actually deploy into the game it's just, just so long i got to wait 10 seconds it's boring uh let's try this load out it's weird i thought the specialists were tied to certain loadouts but that's not the case so i don't understand what the whole use of specialist is to be honest apart from like one's got a sentry gun one's got a grapple hawk yeah i don't know it just doesn't make sense to me to be honest DLSS is enabled as you guys can see. 95 frames per second on average. Oh, 100. Okay. So, you know, when you enable DLSS during the game, I don't think it actually works, you know, because I had to re. I had to restart the game and then I noticed the difference and I noticed that DLSS was enabled. So, if you want DLSS, DLSS, I never know how to pronounce it properly. Um, I think you're better off just restarting the game and then enabling it. It doesn't work otherwise. Oh, there's a few bugs with the game. You you'll see for yourself when you guys play it. Hopefully they're fixed by the time you decide to play. Hopefully is the word. Map's so massive, honestly. These players need roller skates because it just takes so long to get from one side to the other. And also, this CPU is definitely not bottlenecking the GPU. I just don't know why it's not using 100% of this GPU, or at least at 95. It really should. Honestly, I think that's down to optimization issues rather than anything else. In the old Battlefield games, if you shot the helicopter, it would at least give you 10, 10 points. These say it's nothing. If nothing else, because the map is so massive, I'm giving you a nice scenic view of what the performance is like and what the map is like too. So I do hope you guys are enjoying it. And as you can see, like with DLSS enabled, honestly, like you're not missing out on anything. 
be under control eight. of objective Charlie One. Sentry sniffing. Oh my god, I just enabled a sentry and typical. Typical. Beginning siege on Echo 2. Help me up now! Yeah, no one's helping me. We've lost Echo 1. Expect hostile action. Who's still getting the objective? Yeah, I'm gonna. Our troops are attacking Echo One. Our troops have secured Echo One. That's more like it. Can't see anybody. Ha! Piece of shit. All of Delta Sector is under our control. No! You piece of crap. Aimed it the wrong way, man. I do not want help. They're taking over, people. Whoa, 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 whoa! Update now. Hostiles aren't able to get a foot. <laughs> They're securing objectives. Ragdoll to death, man. Jump on the thing in time, man. Crap. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, didn't know I was going to die that fast. Oh no, I was meant to go up there. Shit. Shit! Stay back! Battlefield for you. Uh, yeah, let's go up there. US 
Allied forces holding together, but they're burning resources. Echo One is no longer secure. They have complete control of Echo Sector. <laughs> okay, and on that. is moving on Echo 2. Sure taking a sweet time to land. the saying this game sucks fuck dice <laughs> people are not happy with this game are they what in the hell are you guys seeing this what you just you got yeeted into the into the sky <laughs> One of our objectives has been targeted. No, why can I never switch to the weapon fast enough? So annoying. You have me not wanted. Honestly, I'm so used to playing um, Apex Legends and that game is so fast paced and when it takes so long to switch to a weapon in this game, it's just death. Our forces have taken a blow, but we still remain strong. You piece of shit. Do not come to me. We've lost control of an objective. Honestly, the US forces from conquering every sector. All of Charlie said, Could I have landed in a better position? Keep your distance. I think I'm going to need to create my own load out of here.
seven of them there, man. On that note though guys, thank you very much for tuning in. That was Battlefield 2042 on a Ryzen 5900X and RTX 3080 Ti. And I shall be uploading some more videos very soon. It will probably be four to five next to be honest. Um, on this system, if there's any other particular games you want to see me benchmark, please do let me know. Drop a like if you like the video, dislike if you dislike the video, and please do comment down below too. And don't forget to drop a subscription too. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching.